Hi, this is Alon Geva. Welcome all. Today I'm going to read and then open so it's clear. I invite you to go within, sense, re recognize what you do, have a particular understanding or just a direct experience of who you truly are, which is beyond the mind which is your natural state of being. And if you don't like it, you can turn this videotape anytime. And uh, I wish all of you great success and let's begin. The mind reverts to silence spontaneously after every thought. However, another thought comes so quickly in a seemingly endless stream that we miss this subtlety. The mind is purified when it reverse, reverts to this silence. The purification progress, progresses from multiple thoughts to a single thought to no thought. Now contemplate. First of all, check if you have a thought at this moment. Look for it. When you look for the thought, at times, you don't find any thought. Just a spaciousness, a vastness, silence, peace. joy, happiness, bliss. Let's open the words of the Master. The mind reverts to silence spontaneously after every thought. That, uh, that means that thoughts arise within the space of awareness, which is you which is nameless and formless, and it subsides or dissolves into the same nameless, formless awareness, which is you. However, another thought comes so quickly, in a seemingly endless stream, that we miss this subtlety. If the mind is occupied on objective thoughts, then the mind is too dense and it is overlooking what is already here because it is fixated either on past, future, thoughts, images, impressions, memories, fantasizing, dreaming. And as long as you dream, you live in, yet that's not really being alive because the aliveness is in the presence which is you your innermost direct experience of yourself without a conceptual image without any thought without an idea without a belief just being the beingness of your true self the mind reverts to silence spontaneously after every thought even if you follow these words and you just notice the gaps instantaneously, immediately there is a stillness, a silence which is here there is a transmission that is happening right now if your mind is subtle enough you can sense it, you can feel it directly. If not, allow it to be refined, allow it to be purified so it can shine through you. However, another thought comes so quickly in a seemingly endless stream that we miss these subtleties. The personality, as long as I identify as a person, 
the whole personality is reactivity. I react to other thoughts, whether I like them or don't like it, them. I react to the objects of the world. I, I, and the whole reactivity is preferences. I seek pleasure, I avoid pain. I want comfort, I don't want discomfort. And as long as I identify with this reactivity, that means I am constantly feeding the energy. So there is no gap, there is no space between the thoughts to open for that which is already here to shine through and reveal. The mind is purified when it reverts to, si to this silence. This purification progresses, progresses from multiple thoughts to a single thought to no thought. When you ponder on these words and you take even a sentence and you start to think about this sentence by remembering it, repeating it, like for example the mind reverts to silence spontaneously after every thought you take this kind of thought and you think about it and at the end of the sentence you check if there is another thought and if there isn't you stay with the gap that way that the recognition can be fixed on itself not intellectually, experientially. So the purification progresses from multiple thoughts, like a sentence, instead of the mind dreaming, that you're holding consciously, to a single thought, which is a form of concentration, the mind concentrate on itself. And a single thought would be I, if this is too subtle, you hold on to I am. If this is too subtle, you hold on to I am pure consciousness. Because when you hold on to I am pure consciousness, you can never suffer when you hold on to that thought. Yet when you hold on to I am a person, I am an individual, you begin suffering. Because suffering is the, in the mind. And the pain apparently appears to be in the physical body. So he's pointing in the direction of the mind, consciously dissolving into you, so you can remain yourself. Not as a person, not as an individual, as boundless awareness. See if you can recognize it right now. I hope it is very supportive for you to recognize who you are and I wish you great success. If you find this video useful and you know anybody can, that can benefit from it or might benefit from it, share it with others and I'd love to get feed feedback from you if this is supportive and you want more of these videos. and. I wish you all the very best, great success, and see you next time.